What is up guys, Gilly Kevin today back with another episode of Fallout 4 Mod Showcase and today we're going to be looking at the Mac 11 standalone machine gun pistol which looks freaking amazing. The amount of detail that this person has created is just is amazing. He's done loads of other ones so highly recommend getting all of them if you want them. Obviously follow the link that's obviously linked to this one and go and check out his other stuff in the description below. Recommend this one 110% and it's just amazing and the modding options as well have always to exceed my limitations. They are, they are just amazing. So without further ado let's crack on in it. Once you've downloaded it it's all good to go from a Nexus Mod Manager that's linked in the description as well. Then all you need to do is head in game, press the at key and type help Mac line 11 space 4. Should bring up this menu here. As you can tell there are quite a few attachments for the Mac 11. But all we're going to need to do now is add the weapon itself. Now I'm not too sure if this actually spawns in vendors or it actually spawns on the players themselves. Haven't seen it just yet, but uh, hopefully it does. But the easier way is just to get this a plaid player dot add item and then the ID number, which is up here, which is 07800 space one. As you can tell, we've got one right away. So let's have a look in our inventory and see what it looks like. So this is it. As you can tell, again, amazing amount of detail just on its own. I'm still waiting for that dual wield mod just to have dual wield Mac 11s would be absolutely amazing. This is pretty much it, 37 base damage, not too high, but then again it's a submachine gun and we are going to alter the effects in it in the modding station. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, so let's have a quick little look again, just want to have a little, little look. There we go, beautiful amount of detail. So we've equipped it, bring it out and have a look. As you can tell, it's a single shot currently, either because we have to change it. It is looking a lot like a pistol from this view though. So let's go on here and create something beautiful. So we're going to go down to your powerful automatic receiver, which is obviously bumps up to 46 damage. Fire rate obviously goes up a lot as well. Laser barrel attachment. Not too sure what's going on there. The texture's slightly off, so we're going to go for the laser on stock. We're going to probably go for the extended stock, because why not? Uh, wall. Let's go for a qu large quick inject magazine. Um, again, sights not too sure. Muzzle brake just looks ridiculous. And a scoped suppressor. What in God's name is a scoped suppressor? That just looks. Oh wow, okay. And it is scoped. The recoil on that is absolutely insane. Let's go back into it because I'm not too happy about the scoped suppressor. Maybe just a suppressor. There we go. And it's looking a lot more funkier now. So this is pretty much the final form that we're going to have in. The glow sight, I see it's the two little green bits there. Not too bad. Also as well, if you're probably looking around thinking, what, there's a vehicle there? There's is that there, there's some stations there, or out through any of this video that you're looking for a particular mod, make sure to go and check the playlist on the channel as well, they are all linked there. Thumbnails will guide you, trust me on that one, thumbnails will guide you. So yeah, as you can tell, this is pretty beasty at close range, I'm hoping this does a insane amount of damage, but there's only one way to find that out, and that's pretty much doing the Deathclaw test. Spare with me two minutes, and we'll jump somewhere, and we'll try this one out. So there we go guys, there is four alpha death claws here, hopefully this can take him down pretty easy, but without further ado, let's jump straight into the magic and see how it goes. And oh my god, that absolutely melts death claws. Wow. Let's see what it's like in the VAT system. Again, does a stupid amount of damage, wouldn't recommend using this one in VATs though, purely because it is a little bit slow in VATs. And uh, for me, I just kind of like spraying it. The rav ammo. Good lord. Let's see if we can beat it today. There we go. So yeah, guys. Very big fan of this gun. It does look freaking amazing. Not going to lie. And also as well, it does look pretty damn sexy. Come on now. Got to give it that. Beautiful amount of work and detail done on this. Hats off to the creator. Obviously, if you want to go and compliment it or get his work, then it is down in the description below. But guys, that has been the Mac 10. If you did enjoy this mod video, make sure to hit him up with a like, 
and let me know what your thoughts are on this particular bone or any other mod that you feel like I have covered or want to be covered in the comment section below. Until the next one guys, get a get it and get a get out.